Hello everybody, this is your lecturer D. Rajasekhar, Department of Botany, Srimadhi Gangini Nikalyani, Government Degree College, Vinikonda Gunto District. In this video lecture, you are going to learn two different plant varieties such as ecotypes and ecods. We all know that along with the genetical characters, the environmental changes would also show some effects or changes in our morphology as well as uh, in our physiology. Ecotypes and ecotypes are such plants which are formed because of the environmental changes where they are growing so that they show some variations and they seem different from the other plants. Ecotypes. There are some plants in the same species, but they seem different from other plants of the same species because of genetical changes they have begotten. They have got those changes by the environment where they are growing. They may be called local conditions. The plants of a species which got genetical changes because of the environment or the local conditions are called ecotypes. As these changes are confined to nuclear region, they are permanent. The characters would be retained by those plants for many generations. In one particular generation, the changes would become permanent and complete. So they seem entirely different from other plants of the same species. Then they must be called ecotypes. They are all call, also called ecospecies. The best example for these ecotypes is Arabis fecunda, an American variety. There are two types of varieties in this uh, Arabis fecunda species. Some plants which grow in low altitudes show different conditions, uh, different changes which are very helpful for them to fight against the adverse conditions. Whereas, whereas the other plant variety of the same species which grow on high altitudes, they do not withstand to these adverse conditions. Actually the changes that are seen in genes can be manifested only a bit in their morphological features. We can see very little or slight changes in their morphology. But they are very permanent. Fica, uh, the pinus uh, is also an example for ecotypes. Nearly 20 types of uh, ecotypes have been noticed in the pinus species. Another important uh, plant is Phycometrilla patterns. Ecotypes are of basically five types, basing upon the factors which show changes in their genetics. They are climatic ecotypes. Here, the change in the plants is caused by climatic factors like light, temperature, water, etc. The best example for these climatic ecotypes is Leontodon. And the second type is Edophic ecofactor ecotypes. Here, the changes are because of the changes in the soil, maybe nutritional changes or moisture changes. The best example for this type is Linden Bejia polyantha. And the third type is the both types, means climatic and edophic. Hence, they are called climatic edophic ecotypes. Here, the changes are because of both environmental or climatic and changes in the soil. Sancra ciliaris is the best example for this. And the fourth type is altitude and latitudinal ecotypes. This is because of the latitudinal changes and altitudinal changes. 
the plants show the variations in their genetics as well as in their morphology example pinus and the last type is physiological ecotypes this is because of the changes in the physiology the plants get permanent genetical changes such as uh, the physiological changes are mainly photoperiodic changes nutritional uptaking water absorption etc example botulona khatti pendula ecotypes are very much important because as i mentioned in the beginning itself because of these changes in the genetics at a point of time we can see a completely new variety in the same species that is called subspecies and so that the plant can be distributed to many varied varieties uh, of environments and they are commercially also very very important we can see resistant type of varieties and high yielding varieties etc here you can see phycometrella patens an ecotype all the four photographs are belonging to the same plant but you can see changes in their morphology the plant is alike for looks on outside because they show slight morphological changes but after some time they seem very different from other plants of the same species then they should be called ecotypes and the another variety is ecotypes they are also called ecophenes first churison in 1922 coined the term ecotypes they are also called habitat forms these plants are also part of the same species but when they are exposed to different environments they get a conspicuous morphological morphological changes there is no change in their genetics because the changes they got are belonging to cytoplasm these cytoplasmic changes cannot be inherited from generation to other generation that is why they are very temporary changes when the environmental changes are subsided automatically these plants become quite normal and quite common and quite alike such plants are called ecotypes the best example for ecotypes is euphorbia hirta this is euphorbia hirta and uh, this is an ecotype there are two varieties in these uh, plant species plants which grow near the roads or along the road sides seem very robust and short and with uh, stunted growth whereas the plant varieties are plants which are growing near the water stream or on the banks of rivers are very fresh they are little long with broad leaves and elevated inflorescence when these two types of plants are grown in the same environmental conditions the changes they have before would be completely vanished so that they all seem alike so here the environmental conditions cause changes in the morphology but they are temporary will be soon subsided in this video lecture we have learned two different types of plant varieties ecotypes and ecotypes ecotypes are formed because of the changes in the environment the changes these plants get are permanent because they are genetic changes we can expect a completely new variety of plants or subspecies that is about ecotypes and ecotypes get changes because of the environmental factors but these changes are morphological changes not genetic changes so they are temporary the changes will be soon subsided when 
the plants get the same type of environment same type of environmental conditions that is about ecos i hope you have followed the video very well soon we will meet with another video till then bye have a nice time thank you all